One of Sportswear Online's most powerful features is its reporting functionality. Sportswear comes with over 130 standard reports. In addition, the user is able to create unlimited custom reports, all of which can be output in a variety of ways. In this demo, we will explore some of the most popular report functions in Sportswear. Let's review how to run some typical reports. To start, select the Reports menu, then click Standard. This will connect you with the reports that come standard with Sportswear. Once inside the report area, the first step is to specify the database you want to use. For now, let's discuss some reports from within the Athlete database. Select Athlete from the left-hand pull-down menu. To the right, pull down the menu that lists all of the standard Athlete reports. One popular report is the roster report. Suppose you wanted a roster report for all active baseball players in your database. Select Baseball from the Sport filter, then click Preview. The report page opens. This lists all active baseball players within your database in alphabetical order. They can be exported in a variety of formats using the pull-down menu at the top. Another useful standard athlete report is the travel report. The travel report lists all of your players' emergency contacts and medical information for when your team is on the road. With the athlete database selected, choose travel report from the right-hand pull-down menu. Let's filter by sport. Let's run a travel report just for the baseball team. Select baseball, then click preview. The travel report will list all of the baseball players in your database, along with emergency contact, insurance, and medical alert information. There's also a one-page version of this report. Running the one-page version shows one athlete per page. In addition, there's a medical-only version that lists only the medical alerts and doctor contact information for each of your athletes. There are a number of important standard reports in the injury database. The daily log gives you a listing of all injuries by day. It's often useful to run the daily log for only a specific time frame. In this case, let's run the daily log using only those injuries from this week. Simply click the This Week button in the Date Filter area, then click Preview, and you'll see all the injuries from this week. Another report from the Injury Database is the Coach Single Line Report. Select Coach Single Line from the right-hand pull-down menu, then specify your sport, in this case, baseball. Click Preview, and the report shows you all of the active baseball players in your database, along with their injury status. You can further filter this report by choosing Specific Health Status. To see a report of all baseball players with a game status of limited, Choose Limited from the Game Status filter. If you want to see all players with a game status of both Limited and Full Go, simply hit the Control key when you select the second status. You can add as many choices from the list as you want simply by clicking the Control key when making your selection. Click Preview. Now the report lists all baseball players with a game status of Limited or Full Go along with details of their injuries and status. The statistics graph is another commonly used injury report. Running the graph without any filters shows you the top 10 injuries across all of your sports teams. Below the graph, those top 10 injuries are listed with specific counts and percentages. Adding filters will yield more specific results. If we add a filter to show just football, for example, the graph now only displays the top 10 football injuries. 
you can add additional filters using the Advanced Field Filter at the bottom of the screen. Suppose you wanted to run a graph of all athletes who have been diagnosed with any sort of head injury. Navigate to the filters at the bottom and choose the injury database. Under Field, choose Body Area. Finally, in the Custom Report Filter area, we want the criteria to be equal to Head. Click Add Custom Filter, then click Preview. The graph now shows the top 10 head injuries entered into the database across all sports, with a list of the injuries, along with their counts and percentages, at the bottom. The Treat Injury Report is another popular injury report. Running the Treat Injury Report without any filters gives you a list of all injuries to active players across all sports. It shows you total injuries, total treatments, and the average number of treatments needed for each injury. This is a report for which filters are particularly useful. Athletic trainers often run it looking at the previous school year. So let's set the date filters to run from August 1st through May 15th. Using the Advanced Fields filter at the bottom of the screen, you can show only those injuries for a specific body part. If you wanted to see just knee injuries and treatments from the previous year, select the Injury Database, then under Field, choose Body Part. Finally, in the Custom Report Filter area, we want the criteria to be equal to Knee. Click Add Custom Filter, then Preview. The list now shows all knee injuries and treatments from the previous school year across all sports. The report yields valuable information for the athletic trainer. For instance, using this report, the athletic trainer can see the total number of knee sprains and treatments. In this case, we had nine total instances of the injury, with an average of 2.33 treatments required. The Injury with Treatments report is used to detail the injury and treatment history of a specific instance of an injury to a specific player. First, navigate to the injury database and find the instance of the injury you want to run the report for. Select the injury, then navigate to the reports area. Select the injury database, then select the injury with treatments report. The report lists all of the details relevant to the selected injury and treatments. It shows the specifics of the injury, evaluation and background notes, and all treatment details to date. Within the treatment database, the daily log report details all of the treatments administered listed by day. You can use filters to narrow down the report results. Using the date filter to select this week, for instance, will show only treatments from the current week. The treatment statistics graph, like the injury report, shows a pie chart. This report shows the top 10 injury treatments in your database. A report like this could be used to justify new purchases for the athletic training room based on usage. To narrow the report down, you could apply a date range filter. In this case, the report will list just the top 10 treatments from the current week. The CPT billing report within the treatment database calculates the value of the services provided in your athletic training room. This report is often run for only a specific date range. Run the report using just the past school year to view the value of the services provided in your athletic training room for the previous year. This is a valuable report that can be shared with parents, administrators, and athletic directors to see the dollar value of the services your athletic trainers have provided. It's a particularly valuable report for outreach program managers as well. The Treatments Per Hour report creates a graph that displays when your athletic training room experiences the most activity. You can run the report using just a specific date range, such as the previous school year, to get a visual picture of when your athletic training room resources are most in demand.
The referral database contains several built-in reports. One is the Summary with Doctor report. This report tracks referrals made to specific clinicians. It allows you to see how many times you've referred an athlete to a specific doctor and can be filtered in a number of ways, such as by date range. Reports from the Signout database are used to track equipment that you've loaned out from your athletic training room, along with associated costs. Running the Outstanding report from the Signout database will list all of the equipment that has been signed out from your athletic training room but not yet returned. The report lists the items by athlete, signout item, and cost, and can be used to track down missing equipment or reimbursement and keeps those who loan out items from the athletic training room accountable for your equipment. A powerful aspect of sportswear is in the ability to write countless custom reports. Let's run through some examples of how to use that functionality. Let's say you wanted a report that counted all concussions during the current school year and that you wanted the results sorted by sport. Starting from the dashboard, choose Reports. You'll see three choices. Standard are the reports that come already built into Sportswear. Excel are custom reports that you want to output to a spreadsheet. There are no limits to how many fields you can use here. Custom are reports that you want to output to PDF, and these have a limit of seven fields. For our example, let's start with a custom report. At the top of the page is a pull-down menu listing report types. In this case, we want to choose a count, as we want to count the number of concussions. We want to count all concussions by sport for the current school year. To start building our report, let's specify the things we want to count. We want to count concussions. So, we'll go to the Injury Database, choose the Injury Field, and add that to our report columns. We need to filter that down, though, to just concussions. So we choose that item and add a filter that specifies that we're only looking for concussions. Click Add Custom Filter, and we've made that selection. We have another restriction. We only want injuries from the current school year. Let's find the Injury Date field and add that to our filter list as well. This will open a prompt in which we can enter the date range we want to track. Click Add Custom Filter. Again, we're adding the date range to the filter area, not the columns area, because we're using the dates as a filter. Items we put in the columns area are things we're counting. There is one more thing we want to add to that columns area. We want to know what sport the concussions took place in. Find the Sport field and add that to the report columns. Click Print to run the report. Here you'll see a list of all the concussions during the current school year listed by sport. Let's try a more complex custom report. This time, let's build a report that we want to output to Excel, which gives us the ability to use an unlimited number of columns. Start with Excel from the Reports menu. What if I wanted to build a report for all of the doctor referrals we made for athlete injuries? What kind of data would I want to capture? First, go to the Athlete Database and choose the field representing the athlete's full name. From the Injury Database, we'll need a couple of pieces of information. One, the injury. And two, the injury date for when the injury occurred. For this second piece, though, let's restrict it to just the first quarter of the year. To do that, we're going to add a date filter to that injury date in the filter section instead of in the column section. The column section is for things we want to count. The filter section is for things we want to exclude. Now, let's add some more columns. From the referral database, we need to capture the name of the doctor we made the referral to. And we need the provider, which will list the clinic. And we need the service that we requested during the referral and the sport the athlete was playing that resulted in the referral. Choose Print, and this will export the results to a spreadsheet. Open the spreadsheet in Excel, and you can use Excel's functionality to sort the data as you wish. 
Once you've built the report, if you think it's something you might run again, you can save it in Sportswear rather than recreating it. Simply give the report a name and click Save As. Now you can rerun the report anytime you want and you can change the parameters as well. Thank you for watching Unit 2 of Sportswear Online. If you have any questions, you can call us at 781-297-2034 or email us at info at csmisolutions.com.